Amy and Andrew, we are here. Take a big breath. Everyone else, take a big breath. <laughs> Family and friends, good afternoon and welcome to the wedding of Amy Michelle Hook and Andrew John Hazel. Before we begin today's ceremony, I'm going to give you guys a bit of fun like I promised. So I hope that this does set the tone for what is to come and plus it's that compromise for asking you guys to put your phones away. So you have 30 seconds. Those people that are itching to have a photo, get your phones out, come up, have a selfie, have some fun, and they're going to ask you to pop your phones away and be present with us for the rest of the ceremony. How's that sound? Is this Grandad? Yeah. Get up here, Grandad. Come on. <laughs> Dad, get up here. <laughs> come on, anyone else? Join us. See some young people in the crowd there. Come on. <laughs> See, this is the energy we want, guys. More energy. More footwork. More footwork. What's that real at the moment? <laughs> I need to put the Benny Hill song on. Got a minute, guys, then it's over with. <laughs> All right, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Turn it around. <laughs> there you go, done. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. That's the energy we want. This is not a silent ceremony, so please, I welcome any engagement, as does Amy and Andrew. So on behalf of Amy and Andrew, thank you all for being here to share in this moment. For over the last five years, you have all created an authentic and meaningful relationship with both e or either Amy and Andrew. And you have come to learn a little or a lot about either Amy or Andrew. So today I'm going to ask you to share with what I share with me, share in the moment that, and what I call their little love story, a journey through the past four years where they have enjoyed many experiences together. Are you all ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> okay. It was back in January 2018. Amy and her friends were out for the night on town in town in Newey, specifically the dockyards in the on the harbour. The evening started with the girls indulging in a variety of delicious cocktails before fully embracing the night. Little did they know an unexpected guest was about to make an entrance. Enter Andrew. <laughs> Meanwhile, Andrew had been enjoying a dinner outing with his close friends, Dan Darren and Gunalia. Gunalia. Hello, I hear you're here today. <laughs> After their meal, Andrew left on his customary stroll along the harbour past the local establishments, keeping a watchful eye for familiar faces. Then something caught his attention. It was Rachel, a friend from work. Without hesitation, Andrew joined the girls and treated everyone to a round of drinks. As the night unfolded at the dockyards, they began closing its doors after me and after meeting An Amy, Andrew was eager to extend the fund with the girls. He suggested they head to a trendy bar nearby, only to discover that that too had closed for the night. So bravely, he followed the girls' lead as they headed towards Finnegan's nightclub. <laughs> As Andrew had become entranced by the gentle beauty and kindness within Amy's soul, he mustered the courage, pulled up his socks, socks and stepped into the salubrious establishment to get to know Amy more. After way too many blue drinks, insert Alizé, <laughs> and enough time in said's nightclub, Andrew offered for the girls to come back to his place for a more tasteful beverage. <laughs> Nothing dodgy at all. You and three girls, was it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amy and Andrew were hitting it off. As their conversations unfolded, Amy began to see a glimpse of Andrew's compassionate, professional and supportive nature. Amy was becoming very intrigued by Andrew. Amy and Andrew found themselves bonding over their goals, passions and careers. Amy recalled thinking, is this love at first sight? As Andrew suggested meeting up to go for breakfast in the morning with with the way that Amy was feeling, she was keen to try and back it up for the opportunity to get to know Andrew more. Andrew recalled thinking apart from her unfortunate taste in blue drinks, <laughs> he saw that Amy had a keen eye for fashion and enjoyed getting to know Amy as he peeled back the layers and discovered Amy's fun, loving and fiercely loyal personality that shone through. He couldn't wait to see where breakfast would take them. Breakfast was the first of many meetings in the early months of their love story, meeting up in the car park of Scratchley's. Amy and Andrew would continue their meet, meet up weekly doing what they enjoyed, their long walks. Amy shared, she recalled that Andrew would always have a laugh at her choice of footwear, rocking up to their walks in thongs. <laughs> Eventually Amy saw the importance of appropriate footwear and no doesn't, knows to not make that mistake anymore. <laughs> Finally, it was in the April of 13, April 13 of 2018, when Andrew asked Amy out for their first official date. This date set the tone for what is one of their favourite things that they love to do, going to musicals together. Andrew didn't want to be too forward with Amy and make her too nervous by any means. So, ever being, so, being ever so considerate, Andrew thought, I'll invite Hamish and Rachel as well. The four of them headed out to Mamma Mia musical in town. Sitting there in the seats, Andrew's mind was on, more, was on more like Amy rather than the musical, offering a few flirty gestures towards Amy to get her attention. But Amy wasn't responding to any. Amy was, in a, <laughs> Amy was a little nervous, but in her mind, all she could hear was Rach yelling at her, if you don't hold his hand, I'm going to pull your hair. <laughs> 
Finally, in the second half of the musical, Amy took a deep leap of faith and let down her guard a bit and she held Andrew's hand right back. <laughs> After spending the weekend together at the show and then the opera bar the following day, Amy said, my heart was on fire with affection for him. It was a way that Andrew lovingly looked at Amy, especially as Amy missed her mouth when sipping water. <laughs> To all the patience a Andrew showed towards Amy's emotions at the beginning, Amy did hope she would end up here one day. Amy was smitten. Andrew too had those same feelings. He had a pretty good feeling that this was a forever thing. But it wasn't too long until they knew that this was the real deal and they were in love and then everything took off. For Amy, it was a weekend following their weekend in Sydney, this time finding themselves at Andrew's place in Newey sitting and ready to snuggle up to watch the Moulin Rouge. Instead, Amy and Andrew got lost and completely distracted in talking through the whole movie. <laughs> movie over, they had a moment where they ended up being completely present with one another, simply gazing into one another's eyes as if looking through and seeing the beauty of their own two beautiful souls. Amy said it felt like the most special and romantic moment. She felt this was a pivotal moment for her in their relationship. For Andrew, it was when they decided to go to New Zealand a few months later, where they found themselves on the mountaintops having picnic lunches and sharing their love for food and wine as they enjoyed the experience of traveling together, which brought them so much closer. And they do say you learn so much from someone as you travel with them. <laughs> Andrew wanted to share this and everything with Amy. Andrew, Amy admires how you always make every moment special. Amy admires your relationship to all your and, your all and all of your little quirks that you share. Amy knows there is no one else in the world that she would want to share any of these things with. It's the love and the laughter that you share within these little moments that makes Amy loves you so much. Andrew, it's true how you support Amy in every day. The connection and one of the connection and one you have for one another and your cheeky laugh and nature is the, all the qualities that Amy admires so much about you. As you know, the list could be never ending. <laughs> and Amy, Andrew admires without question your selflessness and loyalty. It's how you fiercely depend, it's how you fiercely defend who and what you believe in and always trying to make those around you better and happier in life. Amy, it is to your tenacity and commitment which has become an inspiration to Andrew. Your ability to always find a way to work through a problem is a real credit to you and the way that you love your family and your friends unconditionally. Of course, Amy and Andrew's favorite things and what we've come to learn already is whining and dining and adventuring. But they too love their couple's massages hmm. and being in the quiet of their home. Amy, or, Amy and Andrew love listening to music and being themselves as they dance together in the lounge room. Amy and Andrew are masters of crafting cherished moments and meaningful moments with each other, whether in the quiet or in the busy times of their lives. They have walked and explored parts of the world together, discovering new places and collecting a treasure trove of special moments from these adventures. But let me share with you some of my favorite moments that they graciously shared with me. A few months into their relationship together, they found themselves attending an event in Sydney. It wasn't just any event though, they had an incredible opportunity to listen to Hillary Clinton discuss female leadership. The experience not only brought them closer, but it allowed them to hear from a lineup of speakers who touched on topics deeply that resonated with both of them. Andrew said it was a huge step up from their first time talking about their careers and things alike back at the unrefined Finnegan's nightclub. In New Zealand, as a way to infuse a touch of excitement into their fine whining and dining, they took in a spontaneous trip up to the ski mountains where, Amy shared with me, Andrew missed the trick of unloading from the chairlift. <laughs> to start with, Andrew, in his eagerness, set off without Amy. As they approached the mountaintop and it was time to gracefully disembark and begin their descent, but this is where Andrew's missed the trick. Andrew didn't manage to unburden himself from the chair quick enough, resulting in an awkward and somewhat comical eat shit moment <laughs> as he tumbled to the ground. <laughs> For Andrew's 40th, Amy knew she couldn't plan too much due to Andrew needing to work, but did want to do her best to create an extra special moment for Andrew. Amy hit the town that day and gathered all the things to bring her vision to life. 
Now home, Amy set up a teepee, decked it out and hung soft inviting lights into the living room, creating the perfect ambience for a movie night. Once Andrew called it a day at work, he stumbled upon the beautiful surprise back home and they spent the night watching movies and falling asleep in one another's arms, creating a heartwarming and unforgettable way to celebrate Andrew's 40th birthday. Their recent trip to the US, where even though it felt like a last minute planning and rushing around, they, the love and abundance of memories they created through America and Canada exploring together were amazing. And most recently, Amy graduating from university. Congrats. Ow. Andrew said it was an outstanding achievement considering Amy did work full time for the entirety of the degree. That's cool. So through their many great moments so far, Amy and Andrew would say their greatest achievement is when they moved in together. Andrew made the move to be down to Sydney with Amy and they took on the exciting task of finding a place to buy and make their own. They did and now they call right their home. This was an inward and outward symbol of their commitment to one another. It is no doubt, it, it's no doubt it was an easy decision for Andrew when he decided that Amy was the one for him. After four years, Andrew was sure of how compatible they were. Sharing so much in common already, he knew life with Amy as his wife could only be better. Together they shared the same kindness, generosity, support for one another and together naturally make each other better. So Andrew came up with a plan to propose. Andrew wanted to choose a place that Amy wouldn't really clue on to what was coming. Andrew also wanted to use a spot that was of significance to them, a place that they could keep revisiting in the future to celebrate time and time again. So Scratchley's restaurant on Newey Harbour was the place. <laughs> it was there in the car park at Scratchley's that they would meet at the start of their walks in the early days, uh, then where they would have one of their first lunch dates together and dinners, and always sharing the copious, copious hours talking about their future plans and careers together. So it was on the 6th of April, 2023, that Andrew planned to have said lunch date. <laughs> Wanting to keep the moment simple, meaningful and elegant, Andrew ticked all of his proposal expectations. Liaising with the venue to secure the quiet corner of the place, it was he that had always nurtured their relationship more than any other. Organising too, to have a bottle of champagne from the year that they met in 2018 to be on cue. Amy and Andrew were booked to head to the States in the not so distant future at the time. And so Amy was not expecting anything like this. It was, as Amy start, it was as Amy started to talk about the meaning of their future together that Andrew stood up, walked around to Amy's side, knelt and popped the ever so deserving and momentous question. Through Amy's uncontrollable tears and joy, they were flowing through from her cheeks and wholeheartedly Amy then said yes. Andrew, Amy describes you as kind, cute, and affectionate. Andrew, you are Amy's Superman. From all the things Amy sees in you, from your kindness to fair judgment and everything you've achieved by one another's sides, Amy says she's so, so proud of all you have together. Apart from that one time that you thought it was fun to be a turd and lick Amy's face, Amy loves how you make her feel. The simple thought of you, Andrew, except for that, lights Amy's heart. <laughs> Amy can't wait to have you as her husband, who she will enjoy waking up and thinking about the first person in the morning and the last thing she thinks before she goes to sleep. And Amy. Andrew describes you as someone who carries a simple, authentic elegance. Amy, you have become Andrew's partner in crime, the one with whom Andrew wants to share his life with and completely and equally. Apart from your fondness of those blue drinks, Andrew's favorite thing about you is who you are as a person, your spontaneous singing and the fact that you are his soulmate, making him feel like a better person and inspiring him always. Amy and Andrew, as you step into your future together as husband and wife, look forward to uncovering all your real potential as a couple and individuals. The road ahead is filled with countless possibilities and together you'll unlock new heights of love, growth and happiness. So what do you say? Shall we get this done? Yeah, we're ready. Are you guys all ready? That's better. We're getting there. <laughs> Going nowhere. <laughs> My name is Ashley Ogle and I'm a marriage celebrant. I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. 
Before your joining marriage in my presence in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others, voluntarily entered into for life. So, Andrew, do you take Amy to be your wife and long life partner? Do you promise you will love, listen and learn from Amy, striving to communicate with Amy, be sensitive to Amy's needs, wanting Amy's success and happiness through all your years ahead together? I do. And do you, Amy, take Andrew to be your husband and lifelong partner? Do you promise you will love, listen and learn from Andrew, striving to communicate with Andrew, be sensitive to Andrew's needs, wanting Andrew's success and happiness through all your years ahead together? I do. I ask everyone here to witness that I, Andrew John Hazel, take you, Amy Michelle Hook, to be my lawful wedded wife. My darling Amy, you bring such joy to my life and without even trying, you make me a better man. Your kind and loving heart, unwavering loyalty and selfless nature bring colour and inspiration to me every day. And your singing of your made up songs brightens even the darkest days. <laughs> Thank you for loving me as I am and taking me into your heart. I promise to walk by your side forever and to love, support and encourage you in all that you do. I promise to always make time so we can take time in order to have time. But most importantly, I promise to always choose us. I promise to keep our lives exciting, adventurous and full of passion. I promise to always wrap you up in a warm towel when you get out of the shower. I can't promise to accept that the New South, Bl New South Wales Blues are not poo. <laughs> but I will do my best to be happy for you if they ever beat the Maroons without cheating. <laughs> I promise to persevere when times get tough, knowing that any challenges we might face, we will conquer them together as a team. Through the rest of our lives together, I will be there for you always. A strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, a partner in play, a counsellor in difficulty, and a companion in joy. Everything I am and everything I have is yours. Now and forevermore, this is my promise to you. I ask everyone here to witness that I, Amy Michelle Hook, take you, Andrew John Hazel, to be my lawful wedded husband. I never dreamt I would meet the love of my life in Newcastle on a night out. Getting ready that night, I decided to wear little to no makeup, thinking, it's not like I'm going to meet the one I'm going to spend the rest of my life with tonight. And here we are today, getting married, in front of many loved ones who have shared in our life and love together over the last five years. Andrew, there are many things I love about you, but to name a few important ones that you might not have already known, I love how excited I get when I just see something of yours and it makes me smile. I love how your smile lights up our whole room. Your laughter makes me laugh and smile because I think you are so cute. I love how confident you make me feel and like we can achieve any challenge because we are together. I love how you will do really sweet things with me like dancing in our living room or wrapping me up in a towel after getting out of the shower <laughs> and when it's cold you even warm it up in the dryer. Aww. I promise to protect you and the kind generous person you are. I promise to grow with you and keep supporting us to be our best selves even in more difficult times. I promise to remain connected with you and I look forward to our adventures in the future. I can't promise that I'll ever support the Maroons over the blue, so <laughs> in the state of origin. <laughs> Thank you for always being so patient with me. You have an amazing ability to turn any frown into the biggest smile. I look forward to being your wife and sharing more achievements in life that results in us celebrating by being cuddled up, jumping around in circles with excitement, which is our thing. Andrew, I love you for who you are and for who I am with you and for all the things that make us who we are together. Thank you for choosing us. Let's give it up for him, guys. Woo!
And I love when they don't know what the other has written, but they're very aligned. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you guys a moment to simply exchange your rings. But as you do, just remember all the love and joy and happiness that you guys are experiencing and sharing here today. Go ahead. Okay, Amy and Andrew, now you have exchanged your rings and your vows. It is with my greatest pleasure I can now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. You know what to do. Give her a smooch. Okay, we are going to legalise this marriage, so I'm going to ask you two to come over here and join me, please, with your witnesses. I believe we have Emma and Scott. Let's go.
I'm just going to get you all perfectly lined up here, please. Yeah. Your job's not over yet. While I'm just setting everything up here, can I just get you guys to toss the confetti in your hands and put the cones on your chair so we're not like, when we're throwing it up and over, we're not going to be accidentally letting go of a cone. Plus it looks better for photos. Cool. If you want to like hand some confetti around, feel free to do that. <laughs> All right, Amy and Andrew, you are married. <laughs> Even though they practically felt married already, this ceremony marks a symbolic moment in your relationship, affirming to the world that you are in it together for the long haul. Amy and, Ari, Am, Am, Amy and Andrew, through the love of your adventures together, this is the next big one called marriage. And I will ask for you to forever learn and grow together. After spending so much time with you guys and getting to know you, I can see, and I'm sure your guests feel this as well, that you guys got this and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you both. So please, everyone, one thing left to do, please be standing. Get ready. I want to see those paddles go really high up and over. As Amy and Andrew walk past you, no throwing beforehand. So while they're walking past, you toss those pedals up and over. Sound good, everyone? All right. Well, I want to hear you make some noise as I present to you for the very first time your nearlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Hazel. <laughs> Toss those pedals, guys. Nobody's the best, 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 the best